Hello, thank you and welcome to Photoshop designing class. Today we are looking at two things. Now the first one is how to give your work some border to make it border lines to make it look beautiful and nice and also how to give your shapes some stroke to give your shape some stroke let's go straight to the work now you have to unlock the background so the first thing you have to do is you click on the shape 2 and you select a rectangular 2 now after selecting the rectangular 2 you will draw your shape by holding on to the left click without releasing your hand you drag it down you drag it good now you click on the move to and you go and pick the rectangular tool again select the rectangular tool again and then you left click whilst holding on without releasing your hand you drag to draw your shape to draw your shape you do the same thing the same procedure you select the rectangle tool by right clicking and selecting the rectangular tool without releasing your hand you hold on to the left click hold on to the left click and you drag to get your shape good same thing you click on the move tool you go and select the rectangular tool click on it and then you click on your paper without releasing your hand you drag to get your shape now we have a shape with the help of the arrow key on your keyboard you can give the shapes or the borderline some direction to make it look nice and also the same size good all right the help of the arrow keys on your keyboard now we have our borderline so we have to give the borderlines color we have to color our borderlines I hope by now you know how to color a shape you click on where you want to the shape that you want to work on you click on it you go to the panel dock select FX click on it then you select color overlay select color overlay then you pick your preferred color by clicking on the color then you click on your preferred color you click ok and ok you have your border color then you select the another border line you click on it you come to the panel dock you select fx and then you click on color overlay now this time round you click on the color you are not going to select the color from this palette no you are not selecting the color from here you click on the first shape that you give the color to you click on that color so that you get a uniform color for the next shape you click ok ok follow the same procedure you click the border and then you select you come to the panel dock select fx click on color overlay then you click on the color good now you are not selecting the color from here as i said earlier on you click on the first one or the second one where you have that color that you want to use for the borderline you click on it now you have your color you click ok you do the same thing to get a uniform color for all the border for all the borders so you click on it you come to the panel dock select fx once you click on fx you click on color overlay 
color overlay and then you click on the color as i said you are not picking the color from here you click on any of the color or any of the borders that you've, you've given the color to already you click on it to get your color now we have a uniform color so our border our paper or our work is having a nice border lines with beautiful beautifully colored now let's move on to how to give your shapes some strokes i know by now you know how to draw shapes i'll pick my rectangular tool now for me to get a nice design i have to zoom my work i said for you to zoom your work you have to click control plus plus control plus plus now i've zoomed my work so that i can see it clear and then draw my I've, I've selected my rectangular tool so and i'll draw my rectangle have my rectangle good good okay now i'll pick the next two i'll pick the next two that is the same rectangular tool but this time around i'm not drawing a rectangle but rather square so i'll concentrate and draw a square good now i'm done with that one i'll pick the next two i'll pick the next two that is the ellipse two the ellipse two are for circles for circles but now i know you know how to draw or how to use the shape tools so i will not worry myself so much on that because you know you know how to do all this good okay now i have to give my shapes color good i'll select it go to fx color overlay and then i'll give it a nice color let me pick color from the palette good i like this one and i'll click ok ok i'm done with that one i'll go to the next one that is the square i'll select it and then come to color the fx that is the panel dock i'll select fs color overlay then i pick my color the color my preferred color i'll pick it from the color palette good click ok and ok i'm done and then the last one is the ellipse two that is the circle the ellipse, ellipse shape that is the circle i'll select it go to the panel dock select fx click on color overlay and i'll pick my color good my preferred color my preferred color will be somewhere here good and i'll click ok okay now i'm done with my shape so control minus at least to have a clear picture of what i'm doing control minus good all right all right now i have my shifts now how to give your shape some stroke how do you go about it you click on the shape you go to the panel dock select fs and then you click on stroke you see stroke there you click on it good now when this dialog box pop up you click on the that small set wide stroke feature there without releasing your hand you drag once you drag you look at your ship see that it is giving it some black stroke because of the color here so you can select your preferred color you can change it to a color of your choice you can give it a color of your choice any color that you think is okay for you you can select that color so 
the color over here is black so as you drag see that it is moving you can also input or insert your own figures to get the size that you want by inserting your figures in the area where we have px px so with the help of the backspace i'll clear it and then type three zero i want three zero i'll click ok now my rectangle has a, a stroke around it let me click on the square i'll follow the same procedure i'll click on it go to the panel doc select fx now i'll select i'll click on stroke i'll click on stroke then i'll click on that set wide stroke panel over there then i'll drag i'll drag when it is 30 since i'm working with 30 i'll stop when it's 30 good now i have my 30 okay good i can also with the help of the backspace clear it and then insert 30 the same thing will work you click ok then you are done you follow the same procedure to get all your shifts stroke with whilst clicking on the fx you go to stroke then you select it now this time around i'm changing the color i want something like this good i think this one will do okay i'll click okay then i'll come here and then drag whilst left click i'll drag it drag it okay or i'll just click on i'll click on the px the help of the backspace i'll click and then type three zero to get a uniform stroke now i'm done thank you very much for your time please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that anytime we drop a video you'll be the first person to receive it and also don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive a message immediately a video is dropped hope to see you again another day bye for now